Namaste. Well, this is probably the last chance I'll have to send you a message before whatever is going to happen on Tuesday. Um, I've spoken about it a little bit in the satsangams. There's a huge planetary alignment happening and uh, Mars and Saturn are transiting exactly the degree of Mars's exaltation, which happens to be the placement of my Mars in my birth chart, and it also happens to be my Atma Karaka, the planet that represents me in the chart. So something big is going to happen. We don't know what. Uh, there'll probably be a big shakeup in the world and probably in my life too. Uh, I'm not going to make any predictions except to say that if you're in the market right now, you either want to go short or get out <laughs> because stocks are going to take a beating and because of whatever it is that happens. So it's fitting that I'm doing this against the background of the sunset, beautiful tropical sunset here in Sri Lanka. Uh, but there's unrest and turmoil all over the world. And I think everybody's life is going to be impacted by whatever happens Tuesday, um, and especially mine. So I can't say what it is. But I want to leave you with one uh, final message, one important word, which is that in life, which includes spiritual life, you pretty much get what you desire. You get what you pay for, in a sense. And so we see, for example, I'm, I'm just down the street from a big Catholic church. And these people are praying to Jesus, an idea of Jesus, which is probably completely different from the actual Jesus. But they still get material benefits because that's what they want. And then there's the Buddhists. There are many Buddhist temples in Sri Lanka. And they're praying to Buddha, huh? just like the Christians, pretty much, or the Hindus. And there's Hindu temples here, and they pray to their various gods and goddesses. And they all pretty much get what they desire, according to karma and, you know, modifying factors. But still, basically, they get what they want. The problem is people want things that aren't good for them. They want material enjoyment, which creates karma, which binds them to samsara. They want wealth. They want power. All these things are really bad for them. So the best tip I can give everybody regarding spiritual life is desire Brahman. We've been talking a lot about Brahman on this channel the last couple of months. And I've been working very hard on the final realization of Brahman. We'll see what happens. But I'm optimistic. Whatever happens, it's going to be wonderful for me anyway. So this is the key that has brought me this far. And this is the message that I want to leave with you in case, you know, the whole world turns upside down or my whole life turns upside down. Um, desire Brahman. Think about Brahman. Inquire into Brahman. Pray to Brahman. Pray to whatever god or goddess you adore to help you realize Brahman. Inquire into Brahman. Do the research, do the meditation, do the work, pay your dues, live the life, 
don't just say, oh yeah, I want to realize Brahman and then go do all nonsense. Live the life of Brahman, Brahmachari. Huh? Brahma means Brahman and Achara means to live, to reside in, and Ari at the end means one who. So Brahmachari is one who lives in Brahman, which we all do. So <laughs> it's only affirming our actual position, the actual situation. So if you align your desires with reality, they will surely become real. You will surely get what you desire. So focus on Brahman and be well and happy. Aum Tatsat. Aum Shakti. Aum. Oh.